Hi everyone. This video will be about undoing bolts on a master cylinder or any other bolts on the bike. For a start, a little bit of information on the on the actual bolts used on the bikes. If it's a Japanese bike, Honda, Suzuki, so on, Kawasaki, they look like just a normal Phillips, but they're not just a normal Phillips. That is JIS, which is standing for Japanese Industry Standard. What it is, they've got slightly different shape of the actual screwdriver end. I don't know if you probably won't be able to see it. Anyhow, this is one of the screwdrivers I got. This is Bessel Magadora. I'll put a link in the description. If you do anything on a Japanese bike, you should use one of these. They don't have to be the same band, but the main thing is they have to be JIS. Otherwise, you're gonna run into the risk of rounding the heads of the bolts, which is quite common. The other good thing about the Vessel Magadora, or this particular one, it's got a little uh, mechanism built into it. So it's like an impact screwdriver, basically. When you hit the back of it, it turns the actual blade. I can't remember how many degrees left, but it turns slightly to the left. What do you do? You just insert the screwdriver as normal, but instead of Obviously you can always try to undo it, but what I tend to do, if the bolt is a little bit seized up, this will free it up gently. So, not massive whack, because obviously that's that's on a bracket, that you're going to break, break the bracket if you're going to do it too much. Just a little whack, another one, and normally, that's pretty much enough to see. And always, I always put WD-40, as you can see, there was WD-40 on it. But gentle, back and forth, two steps back, one forward, two steps back, one forward, just to be on the safe side, just so you know that you will undo the whole bolt, not just part of it. Same goes for the other one. One, two, and normally, see? And they've been, they seemed like they are proper seized up. I managed to undo both of them. As you could tell, with no use of excess force, with no risk of stripping the threads, and no risk of, you know, uh, stripping the head of the bolt as well. So obviously, after you've undone them, if they are good, if you can clean them and put them back in, fair enough. But if somebody made an attempt to undo them before, and they have been even slightly rounded, just replace the bolts with a hex head and stainless, just a little bit more prevention. If they are good enough, they should be good enough because the steel on the Japanese bikes is a lot better than, for instance, BMWs and you can normally take them out and put them back in. I also use some sort of lubricant, some sort of grease on the threads before I put them back in just to make sure they're going to come out the next day. As I said, just a little, little tip on this one. To me, if it's going to help even one person, that's, that's worth it. Two bolts, I'm done. You normally don't find these screwdrivers anywhere. At least I couldn't find them anywhere around Swansea, so which is not much of a surprise really, but they they haven't been available around. So I've ordered mine from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. But they are definitely worth buying if you're doing anything with your own bike, if it's a Japanese bike. They work absolutely fine on normal bolts as well, so I've been using them throughout and they actually work quite good. I'm not sure if there's going to be any videos on this bike. There's a couple of them at the minute because I've got another fan by there. Uh, this is a Pan European. This was an ex police one. There's another one by there. And that one is obviously quite, quite gone at the minute. So we'll see what's going to happen with this one. And we will see what's going to happen with that, that one. But that was going to. Knock it alternator, so I don't think there's going to be much we're going to be doing with that. If this one, if the alternator survived, we might do something with this one. I had a mad idea to convert that into a cafe racer style, or, you know, that style look, something like that. As, I, as much as I hate killing cars, I hate killing bikes as well. It's just sometimes when they are past the due date, like this one is, for instance. Because the rads, the forks, couple of things have been pinched off it you know it might be too far gone this one's got stainless steel exhausts and because it's been an ex-police bike 
the upkeep of the bike to some extent was much better, but then it ended up in the West Garden, so obviously that took a toll on it. We'll see how bad it is, but one of them might be salvageable. If you found this video useful, hit like and subscribe to support the channel. And I shall see you shortly in the next video. Take care.